if we're given equations in parametric form, we don't have to convert them to Cartesian equations to find dy dx. All we have to do is find dy dt and dx dt and divide them. If you imagine that we divide the top and bottom of this by dt, so we have dy dt over dx dt. So we're going to say that dy dx is the same as dy dt divided by dx dt. So all we've got to do is differentiate our two functions, so dx dt is if we differentiate t squared plus 3, we get 2t, and we get dy dt, so we're differentiating t cubed plus 2t minus 1, so that'd be 3t squared plus 2. So we've got dx dt and dy dt. To find dy dx, we're just going to take dy dt, 3t squared plus 2, and divide it by dx dt, 2t. And there we have dy dx. Okay, here's another example. So again, we're going to find dy dx. So we're going to differentiate them both separately. So dx dt. If we differentiate sine, it goes to cos. So this would be 3 cos t. And dy dt, if we differentiate cos, we go to minus sine. So we go to minus 3 sine t. So dy dx is going to be dy dt over dx dt. So that will be dy dx is equal to minus 3 sine t over 3 cos t. And we can even simplify that. So cancel the 3s and sine over cos is tan. So we've got minus tan t. Okay, here's another question. If you want to pause the video, give this one a go. So find dy dx. Okay, so we're going to say dy dx is dy dt over dx dt. So we'll say dx dt is 3t plus 5 differentiated, which is 3. And dy dt, 4t squared plus 3t minus 1 differentiated. So that will be 8t plus 3. So dy dx is dy dt, 8t plus 3, over dx dt, 3. And one more. So if you want to pause the video again, give this one a go, and then press play when you're ready to go through. So again, dy dx is dy dt over dx dt. So we'll have dx dt. So we're differentiating 3 sine 2t. So sine is going to go to cos, and we're going to multiply by the bracket differentiated. So we'll have 3 cos 2t times the bracket differentiated, which is 2. So that would be 6 cos 2t. And dy dt. So we've got 1 minus 5 cos 2t. Cos differentiated is going to go to minus sign. And we're going to times by the bracket differentiated, which is going to be 2. So we're going to have the 1's going to go. So we're going to have minus sign, but we've already got minus 5, so it's going to change to a positive. Minus sign 2t times the bracket differentiated, which is 2. So that's 10 sine 2t. So dy dx is dy dt, 10 sine 2t, over dx dt, 6 cos 2t. And we can simplify that. So if we divide top and bottom by 2, 
we'll have 5 over 3, and sine 2t over cos 2t will be tan 2t.